Do you know there's a real battle going on to capture smaller website business? And the winner of that battle may define the role of web design in the future. I spend a lot of my time talking about the challenges faced by owners of large institutional websites. But what about smaller organisations, local charities, small businesses, schools, religious groups, societies, the list goes on. I know many of you that watch these videos are a part of this market and you've got some interesting times ahead. That's because there's a battle going on for smaller websites, a battle that could redefine your job as a web designer, a battle that has price and ease of use on one side and on the other flexibility and bespoke design. It is a battle born from the raft of alternatives now available to smaller organisations, a battle for the commoditization of web design. The lower end of the web design market has always been a competitive area. Web designers have found themselves competing on price with enthusiastic amateurs and offshore suppliers. Clients in this part of the market don't particularly value the web or good design. They just want something up and running as fast as possible and at the lowest possible price. The response of many professional web designers has been to push up the market, focusing instead on clients who see their websites as more important, clients who place at least some value on aesthetics and usability. But even this part of the market is now becoming price sensitive and more competitive. Services like Squarespace enable clients to have great looking, responsive websites, all for a fraction of the cost of hiring a web designer. Even better, it comes with intuitive tools that almost anyone can use to manage their website. Today, services like The Grid threaten to take this to the next level, effectively replacing the designer with an algorithm. A client sets the feel of their new site, whether it be casual or professional, and the algorithm does the rest. It selects the typography based on your selected feel and colors based on your branding and imagery. It's an impressive thing to watch in action, but there's still a good amount of reason to hire a professional and not rely on services such as The Grid. Services like The Grid and Squarespace will give you a professional looking website without a doubt. It will also give you that for an amazing price. But what you lose in the process is flexibility and control. You get only a handful of templates on uh, Squarespace and only limited customization options. With the grid, you set a load of criteria and then the algorithm does the rest. And impressive though this is, it does little in the way of allowing you to really customize the site. It's like hiring a designer to build your website and having almost no say over what they deliver beyond the initial brief you set. You're not just limited in the visual appearance of your website either, you're also limited in the functionality it can provide. If you want your website to do something not offered on the platform, then you're stuck. No plugins, no custom code, no way of adding what you need. This lack of flexibility means that bespoke web design isn't going to go away anytime soon. That said, for a considerable number of clients, the cost savings make these kinds of trade-offs worthwhile. That's why the marketing is uh, market is becoming so price sensitive. But what if you could deliver the flexibility clients want and still stay competitive on pricing? What if you could allow your clients to both have their cake and eat it? I've been working with Template Monster for a while now. They sponsored the podcast and I've also done some video training courses for them. Template Monster pr produce and provide templates. They help web designers work in the competitive end of the market, turning around websites quickly. This enables them to keep their prices low and to remain competitive. But I couldn't help feeling that Template Monster was only helping hold back the inevitable. Squarespace and the grid were commoditizing the web and there was nothing that could be done. Templates could help in the short term, but they couldn't save the day. And then Template Monster showed me something called Monstroid. And for the first time in a long while, I could see hope for those working with smaller businesses. 
Template Monster could have gone down the same route as Squarespace. Instead, they've done something really clever with Monstroid. Something that will allow web designers to compete with the trend towards commoditization. Now, Monstroid is a WordPress theme, but that really doesn't do it justice. It allows a near endless combination of layouts and has an ever expanding list of different visual styles as well as including over 30 plugins. But even that description doesn't really get to the heart of the power of Monstroid. What Monstroid provides is the quick implementation you get from something like Squarespace, but with the flexibility and power of the WordPress platform. Clients now have a clear upgrade path if they want to produce something beyond what Monstroid does out of the box. And that's not something that Squarespace or The Grid can do. It also includes an editor that allows clients to create their own layouts with the same simplicity that we've come to expect from Squarespace. The result of this is that professional web designers can give clients at the lower end of the market everything that they want. Web designers can be more competitive over price because implementation is faster. They can provide a far greater range of functionality because Monstroid is built on WordPress. They can provide considerably more customization of visual appearance to meet clients' needs. They can empower clients to upgrade their, or update their own websites even including building complex layouts, all without writing a line of code or dealing with some clunky interface. But most importantly, they offer a clear upgrade path for the future, something that you don't get from Squarespace or The Grid. I'd encourage you to check out Monstroid for yourself. I believe it's got a lot of potential. Now, long term, I don't believe the commoditization of the web will continue. As digital becomes business critical, even the smallest of businesses will be willing to spend more on their websites. But we're not there yet, and there is real pressure from the likes of Squarespace and The Grid, um, and things are going to be tough for a while. What Monstroid offers is a real alternative that provides significant value to clients and helps designers of smaller websites.